Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. This is going to be kind of a quick video, but I wanted to do an update video to one I posted about a month ago. In that video, I showed you how to get Netflix, Disney+, Plus, Hulu, Amazon Prime, and Spotify up and running on your Raspberry Pi. Well, the creator of the script, Vince, over at vpetkov.net has come up with an easier solution, and there's some bug fixes in this version. It's really easy to install. I'm on a Raspberry Pi 4. This is the 8GB model, but it'll work on the 1, 2, 4, or the 8. Now, in order to do this, what we're going to do is follow his guide over here, and I'll show you how to do it in just a second, but a lot of people might not already know that if you just go and open up the Chromium browser that's built into Raspbian, or Raspberry Pi OS is what it's called now, and you try to play a video, it's just not going to work. Same with Hulu, Amazon Prime, and even Disney+. Plus. So we'll go to Disney+. Plus. We're going to try to play this. And it's not going to allow us to stream anything from these sites because it uses Widevine DRM. But Vince over at vpetcob.net has come up with a workaround and it's super simple to install. Now what you're going to need to do is be online for this to work. And basically there's two commands we need to input. First one, we're going to grab the media edition of Chromium. This is a modified version that will allow us to play DRM content. So the first thing we're going to do is use his curl command. We have to do this from terminal. You can open it up from the top here, or you can press Control alt t on your keyboard. From here, I'm just going to paste it right in. The curl command is now done. It's time to execute it with this command. It's going to go ahead and finish everything up. It's going to tell us we need to reboot our Pi. You can type in sudo reboot, or we can go up to the Raspberry Pi icon, shut down, and reboot. So I'm going to go ahead and reboot this and show you how to use it. Okay, so I'm fully rebooted. We have the Chromium Media Edition installed, and in order to launch it, we can go up to the Raspberry Pi icon, Internet, and we have the Chromium Media Edition along with the regular Chromium web browser. If you're looking to just browse the web, check your email, and change settings in Chromium, make sure you use the original Chromium web browser. But if you're looking to view DRM content like Netflix, Hulu, HBO Go, Spotify, and tons of other sites, use the Chromium Media Edition. I'm going to go ahead and launch it here. And I'm going to go ahead and sign into Netflix and Disney+. Plus. And I'll find something that we can watch real quick. So we'll just go to the universe. Kind of my go-to test here. The sun is the superpower of our Go full screen. A and we now have Netflix up and running on our Raspberry Pi 4. Actually works really well here. We'll just skip ahead a little bit. I'm connected over Ethernet, so your buffer time may vary if you're over Wi-Fi or not. I'll go ahead and close Netflix down. And we have Disney Plus over here. So I'll just find something. Again. There we are, Disney Plus, up and running on your Raspberry Pi 4. You can do HBO Go, Hulu, Amazon Prime, Spotify, pretty much anything that needed the Widevine driver before will work with the Chromium Media Edition. So that's pretty much it for this video. I really appreciate you watching. I do want to give a big shout out to Vince over at vpetcov.net. He's come up with this for all of us to enjoy. Definitely go over to his site, check out his other projects that he's been working on. And like always, thanks for watching.